Hello everybody, Ranger Mark Mello with the Blackstone River Valley National Historical Park welcoming you to our 21st Ranger Chat. Yesterday we celebrated Labor Day and what better time to talk about how the Industrial Revolution and the birth of the Industrial Revolution here in the Blackstone River Valley forever changed what it meant to be a laborer and what it meant to work here in this nation. And so today, we're going to talk a little bit more about that transformation from an agricultural nation to an industrial nation and how that affected the workers here in the Blackstone River Valley. The Industrial Revolution changed a lot of things, but perhaps one of the most obvious changes was in what labor looked like. Before industrialization, people worked on their farm or in a small village as craftspeople. Whether you were a farmer or a blacksmith, or even a doctor at the time, you learned a trade and you produced something based upon your labors. And it was the product of your labors which you then sold or bartered for other goods. A farmer took his crops to market to be sold to his neighbors for either money or perhaps he traded with the blacksmith for a new pair of horseshoes for his horses. A blacksmith produced metal goods with which he did the same thing as the farmer. Most people had the liberty to create their own work schedule and their livelihood dependent on how much they worked and what the need for their craft was. A lifestyle like this seems foreign to most of us today. Most of us show up to a job and although we might produce things, we don't get paid directly for these products. We produce something for a company which in turn compensates us not for the objects that we make, but for the time we take to work for them. This commonplace system of labor today came about as a result of the Industrial Revolution. A person's time became monetarily valuable, something that could be sold. This type of labor system was different for people to adjust to and in many ways provoked labor movements in the generations that followed. With the ability to control your own time lost, once you worked in a mill village, workers banded together to ensure that they received not only a just wage for their time, but also had enough time to do other things than work. Eight hours for work, eight hours for rest, and eight hours for what you will became a battle cry for laborers living and working in mill villages by the end of the 19th century. Labor unions became an important fixture in the fight between companies and their employees. These battles over who controls a worker's time and what is fair treatment for employees still endures to this day. What was a different way of thinking about labor has now become commonplace in our nation today. A change in perceptions of labor, which began with the Industrial Revolution. I would like to thank you for joining us again today. As always, if you have any ideas for topics you'd like to see us cover in the upcoming weeks, please leave those down in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you out there along the Blackstone really soon.